The RTX 4090 is the best gaming GPU in the world, and I don't think that it needs more of a fitting introduction than that. Well, AMD's RX 6900 XT and NVIDIA's RTX 3090 were neck and neck in the previous generation, NVIDIA decided to keep the performance crown for themselves this time. There are so many great variants of the RTX 4090, including the Founders Edition by NVIDIA, but my choice for the best RTX 4090 in terms of value is the MSI Supreme Liquid X GeForce RTX 4090. In Testing the MSI Supreme Liquid X GeForce RTX 4090 is the best performer out of all of the RTX 4090s available, seconded by the RTX 4090 Matrix by Asus. However, Asus does not have a significant lead over MSI's 4090, and it also costs north $3,000, making it too expensive even for enthusiasts. The RTX 4090 is already an expansive GPU with a manufacturer's suggested retail price of $1,600, while other brands releasing almost $2,000 RTX 4090s. This is exactly why the $1,700 price by MSI surprises me, because it is one of the best RTX 4090 I have tested yet, is also one of the least expensive. Thanks to the hybrid air and AIO, the MSI Supreme Liquid X GeForce RTX 4090 is perfect for anyone already planning to liquid cool their RTX 4090. Custom liquid cooling solutions can be really expensive and require a lot of patience and skill to set up correctly. Not to mention, a custom loop also introduces risks of water damage if you don't know what you're doing. The other great thing about having an AIO dedicated to the GPU is that it doesn't need to share the same cooler with the CPU as in a custom loop. The card has a sleek, professional design and it's entirely constructed from metal, even the backplate. It comes equipped with a 240mm AIO cooler for the GPU core and VRAM, making the remaining card just a small dual slot with a fan for the PCB. As a result, the card typically remains at a cool 50 degrees Celsius during extended gaming or productivity sessions. These low temperatures indicate that the cooler is very good at dissipating a lot of heat. Given the RTX 4090's 450 watt TDP, any PC case housing this GPU should have excellent exhaust to ensure everything else in the PC stays cool. Looking at the specs, the RTX 4090 is paired with a 24GB GDDR6X VRAM buffer that is connected to a 384-bit bus. The 4090 has a massive 72MB L2 cache, which combined with the 384-bit bus yields an unprecedented 1,008GB per second of bandwidth. This is the reason why many professionals have also turned to the RTX 4090 for their bandwidth-hungry applications like artificial intelligence research and 8K video editing instead of getting NVIDIA or AMD's professional-grade Quadro or Fire Pro cards. In terms of performance, simply put, any game on it will fly. The RTX 4090 can run even the most demanding games like Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty at 4K maximum settings at around 70 frames per second. You can even play games like Doom Eternal at 8K max settings at 60 plus frames per second or Red Dead Redemption 2 at 8K high settings at 60 plus frames per second. The 4090 wants to be challenged, and thanks to technologies like DLSS, upscaling, and ray construction, the quality of games is also unmatched. Any esports title will have no issue running at 200 frames per second or higher, even at 4K ultra setting. That means even 4K 240 frames per second gaming is possible at high settings in games like Counter Strike 2, Dota 2, PUBG, Valorant, League of Legends, Apex Legends, and Rainbow Six Siege. If we take a look at the direct competition, there simply isn't any. This is not to exaggerate the RTX 4090's position in any way because AMD does not have a GPU this generation that directly challenges the RTX 4090. As mentioned earlier, any benchmark that shows the AMD Radeon RX 7900 XTX closing the gap against the RTX 4090 is due to the fact that the current AMD 7000 and Intel 13th Gen CPUs are becoming the bottleneck for the RTX 4090. This means that the RTX 4090 is so fast that until AMD and Intel release more powerful CPUs, we won't see the full gaming potential of the RTX 4090. I guess my final nitpick would be that there are just too few ports for what is considered the best graphics card in the world. This card definitely needs more than just three display ports and an HDMI port. Regardless, if you need the absolute best gaming GPU, then there is no other option than the RTX 4090, as it has a massive lead over every other GPU. The MSI Supreme Liquid X does not have only the best cooler, but it is also one of the best best RTX 4090s in terms of build quality. It will serve anyone for a very long time, whether it be for gaming or professional work. To sum up what I like is that it offers the absolute best performance by any consumer grade GPU. The best in class cooling, it's great even for 8K video editing, 3D modeling and AI acceleration, and the massive 24 gigabyte VRAM. On the downside, it requires almost 400 watts of power at maximum usage and it could have more ports. Our rating for PCB design is 9 out of 10. Aesthetics and cooler design, 9 out of 10.
out of 10. Value for money, 7 out of 10. For an overall rating of 8.5 out of 10.